hi guys good morning how are you um all right so i'm just gonna make in this video because i wanted to put it out there that people need to understand that even though that we live in the uk we have our own issues okay even though we live in obodo yubo like they call it in africa people have their own issue okay so why am i making this video so yesterday i got a call from a friend of mine and she was telling me about the fact that her mom's dead and she needed money for burial so i was like okay um i'm not really disposed to help now because i have my own issue do you understand um most times i do help out when people call me from nigeria but at this point there are so many things on my head and the way she sounded when i told her that got me, got me really upset so i'm making this video just to put it out there and i know she's going to see this video let me tell you something yeah in this country we also get evicted okay so i'm tired of people okay calling me and telling me about their landlord i don't have a house yet we haven't bought our own house so we're, we're also paying landlord and last month we got eviction letter we didn't tell anybody we have not called nigeria to ask nigeria for money we are sorting our problem out i mean people should learn that you know you have a problem yeah you have children is a responsibility okay you have a life you decided to have children you cannot depend on other people to help you pay your school fees when you have issue you want to pay your school fees you call people to be frank with you where do we keep the money where do we keep the money most of the money that we earn in the bodo yubo is given to the queen the tax cost like you know half of my money that i earn i pay tax on it i don't even save i don't even you guys have savings you know she really got me upset she really got, because sometimes she calls me and i do help out and she just called me that she lost her mom and i said um okay i'm so sorry about that i can't really help now because i just got a vision letter and we're trying to get a new house we're even trying to buy our own house if we can save money and the way she sounded got me upset it really got me upset i don't owe anybody i don't owe anybody let's get a fact i don't owe anybody to give them money i don't owe anybody to dash them money if i decide to dash your money it's because i want to but for this entitlement, like you feel you, I have to, because I live, you know, Bodo Yubo, it is wrong. It is wrong. It is very, very wrong. So I'm putting this video out there just to let people to know that you guys need to be able to be sensitive to people who live in Bodo Yubo, especially in the UK. I don't know about how Americans, how they make their money, because I know they pay them a lot of things, tax and everything, and they can do a lot of works. But in the UK, ha. Huh, with every money that we earn we sweat for it like you know when i mean sweat we do sweat for it you you earn one thousand like 500 of that money is given to the queen so we we don't even have savings yeah the the welfare system even though i have an eviction i'm not scared i'm not worried because i know that the government will get me a place to live or at the end of the day if i can't get my house if i don't even if i'm not able to buy my house i know I, the system will sort me out i get that that is why i'm relaxed but when you when somebody tells you that she has her own issue that you know she doesn't have money try to understand wait wait because because, because as a so wait is it a crime is it a crime for people from nigeria to send money to people that live in obodo yubo is it a crime is it a crime that you guys package money and send to people that live in obodo yubo you think it's only us that should be sending it's so annoying. What kind of entitlement mentality is that? And they work for you, yeah? Stop calling people and, you know, when the person tells you that they can't help and you are sounding as if, like, you know, you the person have to. You're not my family. You're not my, you're not, yeah, you're my friend, but you're not my family. I mean, even my family, I don't really have to. But I, I, I do, I will manage to help. But not ordinary friend i call it ordinary because wait you're my friend yeah i haven't even seen you for like how many how many years now 10 years now we just talk then you called me to me you lost you lost someone and I'm, I, I should kill myself about it look 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 in this obodo yubo hmm? you see how you guys have people that you call house help and i can look after your children when you go to work we don't have it we pay child care child care is like you you pay through your nose for child care nobody i don't have neighbor that i can drop my child to i don't know who they are they won't even take the child they would take they'll take money 
and everybody is afraid if anything happens to my child while they are in their house they will take them to court so not everybody is willing to do child care for you so we pay for professionals to take care of our children that is another, another money going they have to do after school club breakfast club like my son is in breakfast club now school is starting at, at nine o'clock i have to pay for him to be in a club yeah so to be frank with you we spend so much money in this part of the world that Nigerians should understand or people back home should understand that if you call somebody and the person tells you they don't have money just believe them don't don't start acting as if like they have the money they don't want to give you they don't have the money okay they don't have the money and they don't, they're not entitled to you guys are back home I mean somebody can even dash you money do you understand somebody can dash you money give you maybe 50,000 over here nobody gives you five pounds nobody dashes you five pounds nobody i have no, nobody gives don't unless you're a pastor and people are sewing into your life which we are not do you understand so nobody dashes you money you walk and walk and you get you have you get your that's how it is the jobs are there you get the work to do but i, I don't stress me. i'm not going to do two jobs or three jobs because i want to be sending home to nigeria no i do one job i'm not going to die before my time People will work two jobs, three jobs, so they can be parceling money home to Nigeria. So that whenever they call, I won't do it. See how my skin is, see how my life is. I like it. I'm not going to stress myself. So I'm just sending this message out to people who think that we that live in hope, there's a money bag. I want everybody in Nigeria. You know, I, I, I like it when I hear that my friends are coming to the UK. I like welcoming them so they can come and plug the, the, the money from the tree. It's on the tree. Come, come and plug it come and come and take it is is there is is everywhere is on the street in fact as you're walking on the street you'll be collecting the pounds imagine nonsense and ingredients i know kill your mama so waiting say i know get i know get why are you sounding as if like i did something bad i didn't do anything bad i don't have i have my own personal issue to short sort out see yeah i'm to be frank with you i'm not really in a very good place now so please all these nigerian calls all these people what i need is just a little bit of space okay i can do what i can do when i can do it but for now please don't call me don't call me and ask for anything i want to sort out my own life okay that's all i want to say this morning um sorry sorry guys i'm really i, I said this video ranting i've been so upset since yesterday night when i got the call from the lady um and i just feel like you know what people need to actually give people space and understand that people have issues too people have issues too do you understand let the dead belly they are dead only god knows let them live and leave i'm not saying it, the thing that happened to you is good it's not good but the point is that if somebody if you call someone and a person says oh she's passing through a lot um she also you know is looking for fun just don't start talking or acting as if she doesn't want to help just let her go it's not by force all right guys how are you lot so that's i just have to say that because you know i got i was very angry right it's monday yeah and i just want you guys to know that no matter whatever you are passing through like me i come up every day i do my video i don't really talk about my personal life experience because to be frank with you it's not a problem as long as I'm a Christian, as long as I have God, I know that all those things are meet for me. I, I will pass through all these things. The Bible tells me that even though when I pass through the fire, it will not burn me. So I don't let personal things, I don't even let situation bother me because I know who I am and I understand the fact that I have the Holy Spirit inside me and I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So life challenges doesn't bother me. I, I, I call them meat. It's things that I am destined to pass through. And one thing about me is that when I pass through them, I, I, I get stronger and I know what to do. I'm always, I have that, you know, ability to solve things. So it doesn't bother me. That's why most times I still come up and I still talk and I still do what I'm doing. Nobody knows what we are passing through, but it's not always rosy. This, all this, all this social media that we do sometimes is not the way it is. Okay. We have personal issues that we're passing through. The mo I'm not even making money on the Facebook or YouTube or all of the, I'm not making money. So when people see all these things and they think the money is there, if I show you my car, I'm riding a water water car. 
I'm just trying to enlighten people, educate people using my platform. I have a news website, yes, but it's not making money. So don't think because you see my face on the social media sometimes and you think, ah, blessing, she has so much money to throw away. I don't. I will make money. Get my point. This thing will make me, I'll make money one day. I will, I will make money. But I'm not making money yet. So please don't be deceived and think, ah, she has so much money. I'm just using my platform to enlighten people, to educate people, and make people aware of the social ease in our country and in our society. So guys, um, that's me talking this morning. Um, guys, just, just hold on there. If you're passing through anything, know that there is a greater one inside you. And the Holy Spirit is there to take care of you. And in all things that we overcome because we are more than conqueror. That is what God tells us. And that's what the Bible tells us. And I want to say something. At this time, hold on to the word of God. Hold on to the word of God. No matter whatever you hear, no matter whatever is said to you, please check the word of God for it. Don't take any man's word or any pastor's word or anybody's word for it. Go back to the Bible and check. What does the word of God say concerning this situation? What is the will of God concerning this situation? I have stopped, I have stopped being led by you know the noises around me. To be frank with you, I'm not led by the noise. There's so many noises around me. I'm not led by the noises. My husband is even tired of me because I, I refuse to be led. There's so many, there's so many noises, so many things going on, so many talk going on. And what I ask myself every time is, what would Jesus say? What is the will of God concerning? If it's not, if somebody tells me something and I cannot in any way, you know, get the proof from the word of God, I, I, I don't buy it and I'm not going to buy it. That's my life. That's my ideology in life now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.